ECTS. I want to thank all of you here who are in the beta tester group and have been working, especially with Yelena, beta testing new features for HPP. So all our new features, they are um, first made available for our beta testers. And they do a screen sharing session with Yelena and they tell us, is this intuitive or not? They try to explain what they think when they use it and we adjust it a bit. So we try to really make it as easy to use as possible and I urge all the others here who also create HPP content types to try to do the same. Grab a hold of a colleague, uh, do whatever you can to make someone who has never seen the things you do uh, test it and give you feedback, see if they can use it. We've also had several usability experts go through HPP, uh, made a list, prioritized list of things that needs to be improved in order to make it easier to use. Uh, we haven't fixed all of them, the, the list is quite long, but we are working from the top of the list. I'm going to show you some of the changes later on. Uh, we're going to gather statistics. Now, this is a little bit hard. I know when, in some countries they are almost uh, terrified when we gather statistics. But uh, at, at least uh, on sites we control, like hpp.org, there will be another as well, we can gather statistics. We can see that, okay, drag and drop for instance, a lot of the people who start creating a drag and drop, they don't finish it. Or it never gets used. So that something wrong with drag and drop. And then we can go into the details, what did they click, what did they do. It's anonymized, but it gives us an idea about what features was it that they misunderstood or didn't find. That's, that's important. It's very important for us to have great, amazing designers who can both create something that is visually appealing and that is uh, easy to use, really easy to use. And finally, it's about culture. I think one of the, one of the biggest companies in the world who started to take uh, user experience seriously was Apple. So Apple is not a, a role model for us in many aspects, but in this aspect, user experience, take it seriously. And it, it means that there's no fight between developers and designers. We all work together to create a really great user experience and often the developers as well come with really great improvements, making it easier and uh, more a bigger pleasure to use HPP. We value it very, very highly. And I hope, I hope, hope we can continue to do that, that everyone in the community values user experience highly. If you want a lot of features, it kind of battles a little bit with user experience, but there are ways to do it. And we have to really fight to make it intuitive. A lot of open source projects have fallen to pieces because they get pull requests, they add any feature that comes in, and you know, three checkboxes turns into 20, and it's just a jungle, nobody can use it. So, so we have to be really smart and think a lot about it. 